If you like what you're hearing on the phillytech.org netcast network, please consider supporting the network with a small monthly donation via patreon.com slash phillytechorg. That's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash p-h-i-l-l-y-t-e-c-h-o-r-g. And thank you in advance. You're listening to The Interview Show with Seth Goldstein on the phillytech.org netcast network. Thank you to our sponsors, wistia.com, Zoho Mail, and getflywheel.com. Howdy, and welcome to another edition of the interview show. I am here with Michael Bertoni of the Phil- other Philly Tech, a Philly Tech that co. They are an interactive agency, social selling um, organization. Full disclosure, I am affiliated with phillytech.co. Um, I do work with them all the time. I am Mike's right hand man, so I guess I'm Gilgan. Um, and you're Skipper, only you're a little bit more fit than Skipper was, and you don't have gray hair. And Absolutely. you're not balding. So. <laughs> um, I guess you're not really a skipper. I'm not Gilgan because I'm not that skinny. But anyhow, moving along, Mike, what is phillytech.co and why the heck do we care? So, Seth, uh, again, extremely excited to be uh, talking to you. Philly Tech, uh, we are focused in really three core areas, tech, digital, and social selling. And on the tech side, you know, we're focused in building websites, building custom applications and mobile apps. On the digital side, we're focused in helping people with content and link building and basically getting them noticed online. And then on the social selling side, we're helping customers with how how to use the social channels in order to improve lead gen, prospecting, bringing new opportunities in the door. So what is social selling for those people that are not familiar with it? Is is that a term you coined or is it an actual term? No, it is. You could Google it. I mean, it's, it's a term, and over the last few years, what has happened is there's been obviously a prevalence of this, all these social channels. So you have Facebook, you have LinkedIn, you have Google+, you have your blogs, you, you have all these things, right? And you want to be able to get high-quality content out to you about your brand. You want to give value to your customers, to your prospects. Let people know who you are, what you do, so when they're willing to, you know, when they want to refer you somebody to somebody or, you know, when they want to bring things to you, they know what you do, you know. So the idea of social selling is to create a brand on these social channels, continually put high quality content about what you do and your brand. You're not selling people Mm-hmm. Through this content, you're you're putting out case studies, you're putting out best practices about what you do, and you're educating people. So it's like Gary, so it's like Gary Vaynerchuk's jab, 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 right hook. Exact, exactly. I mean, the the idea of social selling is everybody is using these social channels, right? So everybody, and a lot of people aren't using them strategically. And the way that you use it strategically, it's very easy. You spend a little bit of time each week. You know, could be daily, could be weekly, mm-hmm. posting good qu- content about what you do. But I mean, I mean, high quality content that educates your audience, not is isn't selling. So then the objective is your audience, your business advocates, your community. They know what you do. They understand because when somebody is looking for a product or service, they do it two ways typically. They either go to us, they go to their social networks, their communities, they say, hey, who does this? Can, can somebody help me with this? You want your network to know what you do. The other way is through a search engine, right? That's one of the reasons why you have to be on the search engines and you have to come up in organic search. Uh, but social selling is giving you the opportunity through your Facebook, through your LinkedIn, through Google+, all these things we use to get out there and create a brand for yourself. Okay, so let's say I'm a um, widget manufacturer. How would you 
suggest that they go about using like LinkedIn and Facebook and Twitter to push out their widgets? Well, the most important thing about LinkedIn is first the basics, right? You have to get your LinkedIn profile. Your LinkedIn profile is you. It is your brand. You know, you could check out uh, my LinkedIn profile. It's uh, linkedin.com forward slash in forward slash Michael Bertoni 33. You could check out, you could Google, you could, you know, there's tons of people out there that mm -hmm. this is how you should set up your LinkedIn. So you first got to start with the basics of getting your LinkedIn profile set up correctly that tells people what you do. It isn't just an online resume anymore. LinkedIn has really revolutionized the way you're putting content out there about yourself. So in LinkedIn today, you could put videos, you could put brochures, you could do all sorts of things and add content into your, to tell people what you do, because nobody's going to read. I mean, again, we don't read, you know, some people might read the, the headline. So you want to have a strong headline and, you know, your name, you want to say what you do. You know, people might get through, again, just like a resume, they might get through the summary and something that's it so you want to make it easy for people to see what you do so it's like a, a nice little slide about you or content so then after you do that what's great about LinkedIn is when you're updating LinkedIn like that it automatically will send updates to your network there's a bar when you're updating that on the side it says do you want your network to know about these updates you could say yes you could say no so just by updating your profile which a strategy of just updating your profile on a weekly basis, add things in, change things. It'll let your whole network know you just did that. So it's in effect social selling because you're letting your network know what you do, your front of your, you know, your front of face. Now the next part after that, after you get your LinkedIn profile set up is what is the business value mm -hmm. that you give to your customers? What is two things, quantitative benefits, which is money saved, amount of money saved, um, amount of productivity enhanced, all these things like, and the qualitative, like people just like what you do. They say, you know, you helped my business, you streamline things, whatever. Posting case studies, right? So if you go into LinkedIn, when you, when you open it up, there's something up top, it's called an activity stream. Mm -hmm. All social networks have an activity stream. And if they don't, they suck. So <laughs> right, right. But all of them do. It's 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 a basic foundational thing of an activity stream is simply the stream. You know, so when you're in Facebook and you're posting, that's an activity stream. When you're in Twitter, you're posting. That's an activity stream. In LinkedIn, you're posting. That's an activity stream. In LinkedIn, what's great is when you post, you can send it out to your community and Twitter at the same time. Mm -hmm. You could send it out directly to your connections. You could post links and it, it will show people what the link is. You could post actual documents. But the key thing is weekly basis going in, posting good content about educating, like again, Seth, what he does, you know, what value does he provide? You know, what is good to media, you know, phillytech.org, phillytech, what do we do? So it could be a case study, right? It, it could be something where you're educating somebody about how to build a website, right? I mean, if somebody else's content, right? So you're finding good content that you like, mm -hmm. right? And you're posting it. And you might say to yourself, okay, well, how the heck do I post good content? Real simple. Go into Google, go into Google News, type in keywords, Tons and tons of great curated, it's, you know, curated content out there that just readily available for you to post, or you create your own content, right? So One, you're saying go into Google News and repost the stuff in Google News, or you're saying like jive off of what you see in Google News, right? Like so add you, your own two cents on what you see in Google News and link back to that article. You could you could do both. Um, so if you want to make it really easy for yourself. You could find other good content that you like, um, even though you might be promoting somebody else, somebody else's oh, content. Oh, but you're sharing it out. You're sharing out that link. 
But the key, the key really is to spend some time each week and build your own content. Where, so you have a website. Everybody has a website. Everybody has LinkedIn. For sure. A lot of people have a blog on their website, and they don't. They're like, well, how do I use this blog, right? So you write good content, right? Or you could even get somebody to write it for you. Like again, one of the things we do at Philly Tech, ghost writing your blogs, ghost writing your content. And then when you post that in your blog, it's a link. Absolutely. You take that link, you share it in your social network. So one of the things that we stress with our customers is your main brand most of the time is your website. Mm -hmm. That's where the, you should be creating content, valuable content about your brand, right? The other real good spot is LinkedIn now gives you the ability to blog. Mm -hmm, that's very nice, yeah. So you create, you know, so those are the two spots, either your website itself or a LinkedIn blog. Once you post that, you grab the link and you post it everywhere. So you, mm -hmm. in, in, in your, a lot of people, like over 60 million people have WordPress. Everybody's using WordPress, right? There's social sharing buttons typically on every page. Even well, there in, should be, yes. Yeah. So, so the key, everybody, is you're getting this good content. Your foundational places are your website and LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. And just take the link and send it to every other community that you belong to, whether it's your individual Facebook, your Facebook company page, your Google Plus page. Right for for us, Seth, like PSL, that's a community, right? So you post it to PSL. Maybe. For those that are not familiar with it, that's Philly Startup Leaders. Yeah, so so Philadelphia Startup Leaders. If you belong to meetups, you could post it to meetups, mm -hmm. right? So you could post. So it's like you have to be first saying to yourself, okay, let's let's build high quality content. Step one. Where are all the places that I could post this? All my communities, you know, you could belong to a chamber of commerce. It could be a rotary club. It could be your church. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could be anywhere. I mean, it's, it's, you're, you're getting that content out to the masses. You're educating people about what you do. And then every time that we at Philly Tech do that, we get leads and opportunities. Mm -hmm. Typically, at least one, if not two or three. Hey Mike, you know I saw this post. This sounds interesting. Let's talk, mm -hmm. right? So the key is to be doing that every week. If if people give an hour a week, at least one day, you put it in your calendar. You do it every day. You're gonna generate leads. Also, one other thing, you have to continue to build your networks. Mm -hmm. So when you meet someone, you're adding them to LinkedIn. You're friending them on Facebook. You're adding them to Google+. So you, in the mind, you're meeting people. Now these days, you meet with people, you send them out a LinkedIn request, they accept. Mm -hmm. right? Now they're a first connection. When you send something in your activity stream, they're getting it. right? So you always yeah. have to be saying, I need to be growing my network, my community, then content, mm -hmm. get ways than posting it everywhere and you get leads and opportunities from that very cool so where can people find you online Mike so people can find me online at phillytech.co so that's uh, p-h-i-l-l-y-t-e-c-h dot co or you could find me on LinkedIn very easily you just type in Michael Bertoni you know b-e-r-t-o-n-i very easily that way as well and uh, we're definitely loving the community here, the mm -hmm. Philly community, the small business community, mid-sized businesses. We're more than happy to take a call and understand what your challenges, issues, pain points are, and then look and see if there's a fit. If there's not, my philosophy is, how can I help you before I help me? One of my, so, so if you take a call, and we can't do business together, mm -hmm. typically I'm trying to help them anyway. I mean, yes. I'm still going to refer them to someone. I'm going to say, hey, get in Philly Tech Meetup right away. Mm -hmm. Get into Philadelphia Startup Leaders. 
get into that, like educate you to where, because that's where you have to start, right? You have to start. Build the relationship, yeah. Right. Very cool. Well, thanks, Mike. Thank you, Seth. Great talking with you. Appreciate it. All right. And for everyone who wants to support the Philly um podcast network, netcast network, excuse me, the Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash Philly Tech Org. Throw a few dollars our, our way a month and contribute and help us bring great people on like Mike. Thanks, Mike.